At this point, most of us have heard about the Logitech MX Keys. It's the keyboard that all the tech YouTubers rave about and a direct competitor to the Apple Magic Keyboard. But what happens when you can't afford to pay the expensive price tag? This is where JLab comes in and introduce what I feel is a direct competitor to both the Magic Keyboard and the MX Keys, and they call it the Epic Keyboard. It boasts similar looks and functionality at a more affordable price point. But is this keyboard actually epic? Let's check it out. So like I mentioned, the Epic Keyboard has a very similar design to both the Magic Keyboard and the MX Keys. I actually walked into my local Best Buy and I saw all three firsthand and I couldn't believe how similar they all looked. Just like the other two, the Epic Keyboard is made from metal, although it doesn't really feel like it. There's no cool touch to it like you would expect from metal products. Honestly, I initially thought this was made from plastic when I first started using it. The keys are low profile and are square in shape, with little indents allowing your fingers to rest on them comfortably. They have a matte finish on them which attracts fingerprints and that's a negative for me. But luckily, they are easy to clean with a clean cloth. It'll be interesting to see if how they hold up over time. I wonder if they'll get that cheap shiny look from normal wear. The good news here is that the keys are backlit. Above the keys, there's a large black strip that is a huge fingerprint magnet and doesn't really have much of a function. It's more for aesthetics, but it does house the power switch on the far left and the media dial on the far right, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. There's also a bit of weight to the Epic keyboard, weighing in at 783 grams, which makes it feel solid. Another positive here is that there is a USB-C port for charging. One thing to note is that even though the keyboard feels solid, the back side is where they cheaped out. But then again, you don't look at or touch the back at all very often, so it's not really a big deal. Looking a little closer at the back, you'll see a little magnetic slot which houses the USB dongle. All right, let's talk about this media dial. As the name states, it's for controlling your media, and I found it to come in handy. It has four different functions. A single press is for your play and pause, double press is for skipping a song, press and hold is to go back a track, and you can turn the dial for your volume control. Each function works without any issues. I use the volume control the most. Whether it was listening to music or sitting in a meeting for work, it was nice to be able to quickly adjust your volume without having to think about it. With connectivity, you have two options to connect the keyboard to a device. You can choose between the wireless dongle or with Bluetooth. The Bluetooth connection here is Bluetooth 5.2 and you can connect it to two devices or three in total if you're using the included dongle. I've used this keyboard with my work laptop, my iPad, and my Mac Mini and switching between them was flawless. You also get a full row of function keys which is a nice inclusion. I'll include the list of functions on screen, but it's great that they allow you to have access to both screen and keyboard brightness, a couple of media controls, mute, and screenshots, just to name a few. You can also set up three different profiles and customize the keys along with three different shortcut keys using the JLab app. I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't get a chance to actually use the app. I can't download anything on my work laptop because everything is restricted and my Mac Mini didn't recognize the developer, and I didn't really know how to bypass that. Like mentioned earlier, USB-C is included here, which is great because that means you no longer have to fumble around with AA or AAA batteries. The battery life is supposed to last up to two years on a single charge, according to JLab. I've been using this keyboard every day for the past three weeks, and it hasn't died on me yet, so do with that what you will. No matter how many features a keyboard has, none of that matters if the typing experience isn't good. Luckily, the Epic keyboard is the exact opposite. I really enjoyed typing on this keyboard. The keys are springy and responsive and there's very little travel between them. Typing on the Epic keyboard reminded me a lot of the Magic Keyboard from my iPad and that's a positive thing. I actually used it to type out this script and even though I'm not the best typer out there, I found myself making very little mistakes. JLab has everyone around you in mind and they use soft touch keys to keep the typing volume down, so you're not going to be annoying people with loud typing like you might with a mechanical keyboard. 
Of course, I'll let you guys have a listen. Finally, one of my favorite parts about the Epic keyboard is the inclusion of the number pad. I know it's ridiculous to say, but not all keyboards have the number pad. Just look at the Logitech Pop Keys that we reviewed as an example. Having the number pad makes life so much easier at work and it makes the keyboard that much better for productivity. The JLab Epic keyboard comes in at a regular retail price of $99 Canadian or $79 US, which is not bad and it's very reasonable when compared to something like the Amex Keys, which comes in $50 more expensive. If that's still a bit on the pricey side for you though, keep an eye out because this keyboard does go on sale. I was monitoring the Best Buy website and I noticed that they always like to knock $5 off, which is like nothing. But if you're patient enough, you can find a much better deal. I was able to pick this up for a sale price of $63 and you really can't go wrong for that price. So if you made it this far into the video, you must be wondering, would I recommend buying, shortlisting, or passing on the JLab Epic keyboard? If it wasn't obvious, I say buy it. I really enjoyed my time with the Epic keyboard and I'm glad that I bought it. It's great for productivity and it's easy to type on, which are the main things I look for for work. It's also compatible with all the products I use, making my life so much easier. Even though I didn't get a chance to play around with the app, I didn't feel like I needed it. The keyboard works fine, just right out of the box. For the regular price, it's a good keyboard, but if you manage to get it on sale like I did, it's going to be hard to beat. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and slap that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment box down below. If you want to keep seeing more honest reviews like this one, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. That's it for me guys. As always, I'll catch you on the next video.